Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today is Saturday. I hope you're all having a great weekend already. If you're new to the channel, let me say welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, feel free to stick around. We're just about 100 subscribers away from 5,000, so if you wouldn't mind taking a moment and click that subscribe button, maybe hit the like button, go down in the comments, leave me a comment, even if it's just, hey, Bob. Um, anything you can do to help out the channel, that would be much appreciated. But thanks for being here today. For those of you returning to the channel, um, thank you very much. I don't think I say often enough how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals. Sorry about that. I'm an old guy. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad everybody is here. Um, today I'm going to look at a, at a comment that a viewer left on one of my videos. It's not a bad thing. It's an, in, I thought it was an interesting topic. I have talked about it a little bit, but I thought today would be a pretty good day to get into it because I, uh, I'm not going out for a walk today. I've already been over to the Y and done a half hour. Actually, it was closer to 40 minutes in the pool with my new traction shoes as fast as and hard as I could walk. So I've done that exercise. And this evening, I have to go up and work the mini golf course, which will be a lot on my feet. So the rest of today, for the next several hours, I'm just going to lounge around the house and maybe watch some YouTube videos and basically do nothing. I got a big 10 pound uh, pork butt roast I'm going to put in the crock pot to let it cook through the night and see what happens there. But that's a story for another video. But anyway, I wanted to read this comment to you. I'm going to look away from the camera to the big screen so I can read it to you exactly. It says, I'm not going to tell you who left the comment and which video it was on, but says, hi, Bob, I would really like to hear about the about one thing. How are you dealing now with the psychological distress from having been given exactly the wrong advice for four years? Every time I see you talking about the past, your suffering, all this time wasted on that advice, I get very upset. Makes a great video topic, I believe. Hope you'll talk about it in a future video. Well, I am going to talk about it. Right now, let me put my glasses back on. Okay. First off, you know, I've never made a secret of the fact that I'm a Christian. Um, and nothing good ever came from looking back. You know, as they were fleeing Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot's wife looked back and got turned into a pillar of salt. Nothing good ever comes from looking back. Now, do I occasionally have those fleeting thoughts about what might have been, you know, what might my life have been like had I not gotten that advice, you know, 40 plus years ago? Of course, everybody, you know, that's just human nature. But I try not to dwell on that. And I certainly don't spend an awful lot of time thinking about what ifs. And here's why. I can't imagine that much better of a life than what I have right now. I have a lot of new friends from YouTube. I have more friends now than I've ever had in my life. I know a lot of us have not actually met in person, but we have talked um, online via emails, via interview, all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of new friends. Um, I'm doing things I never thought I'd be able to do. And the big thing that I believe with every fiber of my being, I believe today is the sum of all of our choices, decisions, and life experiences that we have had. You know, basically think of it as a, as a flow chart or an algorithm, if you will, or even, you know, just a, a, one of those answer trees. You know, you know, the old books that you used to get where you, you know, 
if you want to do if you want to do this, you go to this page, the old adventure books. If you want to do this, go to this page, or if you want to do that, you go to this page, and the story changes uh, based on your choices. Well, I believe we're all like that, and everything from <clears throat> you know being kicked out of the army to what I ended up doing for a living, all the way through everything that has happened has culminated in this point in time. Here I am right now. And some things made just tiny little changes in how I thought about things. And some things made really big changes on how I thought about things and how I think about things. And while it's okay to, to, to take a few moments and think about what might have been, just remember, if you had made even one different choice somewhere back in your life, you might be a completely different person. And you may not like that person that you would have been. You may like it even better. I mean, you know, if I could have figured out a way to make three or four million dollars along the way with a truck driving career, that would have been awesome. Um, but I can't imagine being any more happy than I am right now. You know, I've always said, you know, people that say money can't buy happiness don't know where to shop. But that's not actually true because money can't buy happiness. Your friends, your family, the things that matter in life. And the whole reason we're spreading this carnivore message is because I want everyone to be healthy enough so that they can enjoy more time with their friends and their family. That's just, that's, that's what this channel is all about. Getting more time to spend with our friends and family and doing the things that we like to do. <clears throat> you know, I talk quite a bit about wanting to challenge myself to through hike the Appalachian Trail in 2025. There's two reasons for that. One, I've always wanted to do it. It's something I would like to do, but it also goes in line with what this channel is about, showing you that it's never too late to change your life. And that's that's what it's really about here. But yeah, that's what I really wanted to say today, folks. I, I believe that looking back and having regrets about what might have been or what could have been is a waste of energy. <clears throat> continue looking forward, continue trying to find ways to better yourself and better the world around you. And don't worry about what happened in the past. The past is the past. It's over. You can't change it. So worrying about it and dwelling on it aren't going to help you move forward. So that's what I got for you today. Don't forget, folks, get out there, be 1% better today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.